Cheers to Sailing Liberty. We're really glad you're back. Tonight, we we're facing down the big hurricane and uh, hopefully we're gonna make it through. This is our report, how we prepared for it. It's been a long time. It's been a long, hard week, but we're hopefully ready for whatever happens, which we don't know what it's gonna be because the track could go anywhere and we don't wanna be in the front of it, but we'll, we're ready if we have to be. We're gonna ride it out. Sailing Liberty. Thank you. All aboard. You're welcome. David is uh, loaning us the whaler and we're gonna go to Little Scout and see where we can put our boat during the hurricane. This is emergency update. Uh, we are preparing for the hurricane. We don't know yet where the hurricane gonna hit. We want to stay with the boat and ride out the hurricane. So this uh, couple of days is gonna be crucial to get ready. This is what they call the steel dock. It, um, it's got really strong steel pilings, uh, but they're really not that tall. Boat. This is the dock where we bought the boat, and it looks kind of perfect for the storm. Giant vines. It's like you won't use the path in a while, but it's got vines growing across it. Let's go. This is what we call Hurricane Hall. As you see, there is a sunken uh, shrimp boat. They have four options right now. After the scout. I'm thinking the cove is going to be the best option to tie our boat. It depends, of course, the wind speed and maybe going more inland would be a safer bet. Slowly but surely, we start preparing for the hurricane. First thing, we're going to pack away this floatable dinghy. We're going to lean it over here so it can float away. I need some shorts. We're getting the solar panels inside a concrete building in case the hurricane hits us. And uh, it's the best we can do to protect our equipment. Uh, your side's draining. Uh, let her drain. We'll have enough water coming soon enough. Foldable solar panels are off. You bring all the traps in because of the hurricane? Yeah, hurricane's coming sometimes. Wow. Be here one of these days. Even the blue crabbers are pulling the traps. They don't want to lose a trap. They have a lot of money tied up in this. One is getting away. Oh! Everybody are pulling their boats out, preparing for the hurricane. All right, we're just helping everybody out, getting their boats out of the water. These guys are out of town, so we're just gonna get their boat on a trailer and take it back over to their cabin. Wow. My first try. Hey, great. Thanks, bro. Now, the, the good news is, thank you, it's looking like um, the tool kits are fitting in here. Wow. We are taking all our sails off. We start with the mainsail. It's so nice and still and warm and sunny. It's Weird to think the storm comes, right? Really ominous, yeah. Right onto the dock. It's not super long. Okay, with four feet. These boats could be coming from another harbor, you know, to get farther away. They must know something that we don't know, which I like it. I mean, if they're coming here, these out of town boats, this must be a pretty good place to be. Think about that, right?
carry it like that. All right. So tell me what you're going to do in, in detail. I'm going to climb up the mast and I'm going to take off the wind instrument, I'll disconnect the wire and um, after disconnecting the wire, I open the quick release. There's for a, the... some spring loaded button. I don't know yeah. if you push it or pull it or what. Yeah, I can figure it out once when you, I'm there. Once you unsnap that though, the whole thing's loose. Yeah. The whole th and if it drops, it's, it's gone. That's where you make your attachment right there. I'm going to lift you to the boom, okay? Wait. See that? Yeah. Yeah, push this back more. Nice and free. I'm just gonna keep the slack on Oh, I don't think I can do it, Dad. No, my hands are tired. I can't. Okay, you want to come down? Yeah. All right, come on down. Okay, I am. My hands are so tired. Okay, they're, they're very strong. No. You only got like six more steps, so you don't have to worry. You're going to be fine. Yeah, maybe I can make it. I, I, yeah. Can I try again? Yeah, go ahead. Well, I got a job. Okay, just don't let go. Almost. Uh, I can't reach it, Dad. Now you're tied off right now. If you were to fall, you'd only if you climb to the top by just like a little monkey, you're only gonna fall like three feet, right? So you could just go ahead and try to climb up there. No, Dad, you have to grab me. I'm not falling down three feet. Okay, wire is disconnected. It's in the bag. Wow! Down, yes. I'm starting to release you. Slowly, please. I got four wraps on and two hands. Okay. You're repelling now. I'm repelling. What's your feet? I have. Oh my god, you did it! Woohoo! First mass climbing. <laughs> awesome. And you got the instrument and the antenna. Wow. wow. Awesome. Oh my god, my hands are shaking. Welcome uh, to Sailing Liberty. <laughs> Could I uh, I'm really squat? glad you're back. <laughs> you silly little goose. Could oh I god, can I squat? Untie you? Can I uh, it felt like <laughs> it felt like forever. Yeah. Wow. My hands, uh, my knees started to like trembling. shake. Yeah, trembling. My hands were tired. Uh, my shoulders were burning. Your little fingers, your little I, I almost gave up and then I was. You don't know, almost gave up. We came down three steps. Yeah, I came down and then I was like, I'm not the one who gives up. I'm trained not to give up. 
Oh my gosh. Mission.com? Daryl, how are you today? Oh, I'm good. I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks, Daryl. See you tomorrow. Ah! Okay. Dad, what yeah. are you doing? I am putting together a trucker hitch here real quick. Hey, these lines have really gotten nice. Since you cleaned them in TSP, they were all crusty and moldy, and heck, I think some of them had lichen growing on them. This is the last sale. Mission sale. Mission main sale. This is uh, actually a weird boom. If anyone knows what it is, I mean, I can lift it off. So we don't know what's that uh, boom all about and it seems weird. Maybe it's broken, maybe it's not, I don't know. If anyone knows about that, let us know, comments down below. What's the next project? Uh, we're going to put in some hoss pipes because we need them for mooring up here for tomorrow's weather preparedness. Uh, we're going to mark them up with a sharpie. We're going to drill two hole saw holes next to each other and then we're going to connect them with the uh, reciprocating saw and then... All right, boy, I don't think, they're, I don't think our gunnels are that thick. But first, a sharpie. Sharpay. I'm sure all the naval architects out there are cringing right now. <laughs> but you know, get her get her seaworthy and get her out there. If something's gonna happen, it's gonna happen out there. Let's get a hole saw and make a hole. Wow. Wow. What? Water. Why there is water in Holy shit. That's not good, right? Unexpected, at least. There's no rotten wood there. That's all solid. See that? This is the only spot right here. So we, we found a wet spot. <laughs> Somehow got super lucky there. This is all solid. Here. Oh, it might come in here from the, you know, holes. Could be. Yeah, I mean, that's a good point. All right, one or two quick cuts, and we got nice holes for our hoss pipes. Wow, it just broke off. Yeah. Most of the deck work is done for the night. We're getting close to being finished, and then we go below and we have more to do. You can see on the bow, we have a massive anchor. We bought the 73 pound rock now. It's just a tiny space between. Wow, look at that. We're gonna be in good shape for anchoring for tomorrow. All right. One more quick fix before the hurricane. <laughs> oh, well, it's getting done. <laughs> All right, I can't wait to get a shower. And you're getting one. Get a shower! You got fiberglass dust all over you little kitten. Now oh scrub God. it. Yeah, the fiberglass on you, it's not the best feeling ever. Yeah, it's a scratch. Yeah. Come here, Show have me. a look. They just got ready. So they're dry fitted and they're good enough for the hurricane. Here's your starboard house pipe. The line's right up over here to this uh, mooring bit. Got a little 
plastic liner in there. Over here we got another one. Wow, that's a big job. You did it. Yeah, we'll have to come back to it and uh, kind of really get it polished up as a permanent thing. But right now it's dry fitted and it's ready to use. This is the predictive path, but the local knowledge is that you never know until the last moment. Shit, where'd the water go? Um, wait, are we... No, we're floating. They're floating still? Yeah. They're basically a couple of feet away from the yeah. shore. The front of it, I've never seen the tide this long. I can see the water going out rapidly. Can you see clouds? They're moving fast and in the circles. Yeah. Wait, did, why? <laughs> wait, this is mine. You know, it's my new one, right? No, it's that. That's mine. That's one right there. This is the one that Grunnins gave us for free, right? Because <laughs> they like me so much. They love it so <laughs> you took mine. They love how much I work on the boat and uh, they thought I deserved one free jacket for my troubles. I can't imagine you're wearing my I'm jacket. I'm wearing pants. Don't worry. I don't understand how the water is gone. Our boat is moving, so we are not sitting on the bottom, which is great news. We just think if we were tied up where we would normally want to tie up, we'd barely be in the water right now. Yeah. We just have to move backwards and get in a little bit deeper water. Um. Look at that, Maybe one hand. I'm moving both with the one hand. Giant ship. That's pretty good. Now we're floating again. Check the uh, progress of the storm because uh, everyone's thinking about flooding, but now we're looking at freaking no water. All the boats are sitting in the bottom. Alberg is sitting on the bottom and leaning heavily. Holy smokes! Where'd all the water go? Better fill it back up. <laughs> okay, got the dock lines adjusted. She's pulling water out, but she may bring some back. We don't know how, where to set them. We're just all in a, fingers crossed. These things are dangerous. Mother Nature will do what she wants. You just got to prepare for the worst. Hope for the best. Someone tied their boat like this. We are getting some wind. We better go back and make sure our lines are safe. It's not over till it's over. Let's not get sloppy here. It's still coming up the coast. Don't get sloppy. You heard the boss. <laughs> Thanks, Captain. It is. You know, think about it. It's, uh, the storm is sucking the water out now. It's got to come back. But It's got to come back. But it's, depending on what side this... If this thing goes up the coast yeah. instead of in... in if it goes inland, Fine. great. Yeah. But if it goes up the coast and it... They have. They've just started right the, on coast, the coast. Right yeah. on the coast and beat the hell out of everybody. We were expecting higher winds, but the tides are a real problem. We are keeping eye on the dock lines. Uh, we have to keep the boat out of the beach. We did everything we could to get ready. Everyone's telling us to expect a storm surge, but instead we ended up with a negative storm surge. There's no water left in the river. Our boat Unfortunately, we try to keep her back and push her off the shore, but we're in the mud right now. Um, okay, we hear a gator or something. Okay, I'm going. Wish us luck. Pray for us. Thank you. Thanks for watching. If you like, comment. And please subscribe. We're a new channel. Every subscription counts. Thank you so much. And we look forward to seeing you on the next show. Sailing Liberty.